people bring in their lab work all the time, and I always review them for patients. But there's one value that I'm insistent on patients having for me to review. And what is that? That is called hemoglobin A1C, or glycated hemoglobin. What actually is it? Well, hemoglobin is attached to your red blood cell. That allows your red blood cell to carry oxygen to the various tissues. Now, hemoglobin lives approximately between two and three months in your body. So a sugar will attach to it and give you a general idea what level of saturation that hemoglobin molecule has of sugar. Essentially, it's a good benchmark. It's a good standard to know really how much sugar is floating around your body for a two, three month period of time. So what's a good number? Well, according to the American Diabetic Association, 5.6 and below is considered safe. 5.7 to 6.4 is considered pre-diabetic. And of course, 6.4 and above is considered your diabetic range. Now remember, that's in context. You have to understand what that means when you talk about other conditions that occur with it. High triglycerides, high fasting blood sugar, um, high or low HGL, or other lipoproteins. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. So why would somebody have elevated hemoglobin A1C? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's from eating stuff like this. It's essentially a processed carbohydrate with loads of sugar, loads of added sugar in the form of, and sugar has many uh, forms or many uh, names, but anything that primarily is processed that has a high concentration of sugar will elevate your blood sugar, of course, elevate your insulin, and over time make your body less responsive. What's the result in the long run? An elevated A1C. So patients say, what should I avoid? This type of stuff? You should, but what about something like this? The Gatorade bar. A Gatorade bar that is um, sponsored, that sponsors the NFL, NHL, NBA, and Major League Baseball. Well, the athletes wouldn't be eating this, right? They would be eating something healthy. The amount of sugar in this is 25 grams for this serving, and the amount of sugar in two cookies is actually 12 grams. See, this is processed junk that's high in sugar. That will shoot up your blood sugar, shoot up your insulin, and if you eat this stuff long enough and you don't do other things that are healthy, like get adequate sleep and engage in physical activity or exercise, then you're probably going to have elevated A1C. So my advice to you is come on in here, get your blood work, we'll get it tested, we'll get it checked, and we'll get a general idea where you stand, and then of course go about a program to help you. Thank you.